Greetings YouTube and RC groups. Today I went ahead and installed the yak slash uh, pits prop on my Hobby Zone Sport Cub that's been converted to 2S. Um, I was told that um, this particular prop would give it some additional thrust and some grunt in the low end. So I thought I'd give it a try. And um, looking out right now, winds are a little weird. Um, I mean, it only seems like it's about six miles an hour on average, but um, it's kind of gusting up and it looks like we got a storm here that's coming on its way. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put in an E-Flight 2S uh, 7.4 200 milliamp battery in and um, see how she flies. If anything, at least you guys will get a show to see how she flies in this type of wind because it is gusting. I'll have to check my anemometer at the end of this flight. Gusting here. May I have to check all the control surfaces by hand. I don't think she's gonna sit still on the ground. Aerons are working. Rudder's good. Elevator's good. I had to balance out this prop and uh, used several iterations of tape, but did manage to do it. And looks like it's blown out from the southwest. All right, y'all. Wow, it is really gusting. And the plane's moving. Here we go. Alright, AS3X, work your job. Definitely seems to have a lot more low end grunt. Light's pretty effortless here. Just right now at 50% throttle, working against the wind. And God bless the AS3X. I would not be doing this with any other plane without it. Now this is a 5.75 prop, 275 pitch. One thing that had me concerned about it was the ground clearance, but fortunately I have Tundra tires. I would not suggest this prop without any type of uh, modified ground clearance. Definitely seems to be hanging in there with the wind just fine. Oof, she's getting rocked up there. And there's the gust. And I certainly would not be doing this with the brush motor standard setup. My plane would be down the street. All right, so I've basically been putting around for about a little bit here with a, just about half throttle. 
Let's see what she's like when I add some. Holy cow. That's definitely a lot more power. See if we can do some maneuvers with this type of wind and prop. Easy rolls. Woo! Wind just knocked her down. That was crazy. Almost lost her there. Inverted, no problem. Man, this wind is just nuts. Slow roll. I tell you, my heart's actually racing here. This wind is insane. Another loop. Not sure if my GoPro is picking this up, but her wings are fluttering. All right, my one minute timer just went off, so I'm gonna try to set her down and not kill her in the process. Okay, that's good enough for me. That is the uh, yak prop, pits prop on this 2S conversion. Y'all just saw it. Seemed like she didn't have any issues landing either, especially with the amount of ground clearance I have now with this prop. So, I would recommend it. I would not recommend it without any type of modified ground clearance. Right now I'm using a custom made two inch Dubro wheel set. it's just about enough clearance. Okay. Positive side, she definitely adds a lot more torque and a lot more, uh, a lot more thrust up there, especially with this type of wind. That was a little nuts. I don't think I'd ever try to do that again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check out what I've got on the anemometer and then I will report back. Thanks for watching.